Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to create our own theme. I hope you have learned how you can customize the theme and how theme options work, how theme structure work, and some of the general setting around uh, Shopify theme. So in this video, we will create our own theme and you will learn how you can create it. So far, we have customized debut theme, which was easy. You learn about sections, templates, snippets, and everything you need to know about Shopify theme structure. So let's create our own theme. If I come to my theme here, as I said, what is the required thing about creating Shopify theme? Just these folders, assets until template and config.yml for developing, um, like creating a connection between your store. What else you need? In your config folder here, you need to have a theme, like a setting schema with this information. That is all you need to know. So if you create that, everything will work just fine but if i come to if i open any of this template you have a lot of file here who are going to create these files well that will take a lot of time to create them luckily there is an easy way if i come to the shopify theme kit it has a comment that will generate a theme for me that has the most basic structure it will create a theme for me that will have those folders and those folders will have all those files but those files is not empty those files will have a basic uh, like a structure that will make a theme. It works just fine, but it does not have any design. So all you have to do is structure them, put them together, add more features to it, and that is how you can create your own theme. You can obviously start creating everything from scratch. That is going to take a lot of time. And if you want to do it, you're welcome to do. But if you come to the new comment, this is going to create a new theme for me. I'll copy this one and I will open the notepad just paste it here so that I can fill this parameter what is the API again I will come to my store here I have it in the config.yml and I will reset this again after what after I record the video so you cannot copy it just a warning no just kidding so I will put it here the password this is going to be the password and how about the store name this is going to be the store name and you can pass a name for your theme what is the name for your theme i will give it uh, code inspire what is the spelling of it yes i know it 101 and this is not the first theme i'm creating of course i will create some more themes and this is not going to to be the first one so i will come to my template here and in the same template that i'm creating all these videos i have a div directory here it has a theme here i'll create another folder called themes inside this one i'll open my terminal here so i'll open powershell you can use any other terminal tools now I'll paste my code here that I have copied. I didn't copy. You, co you can copy it and you can paste it. Now if you press enter, I assume you have the theme kit installed and it should create a brand new theme for me. Yes, here is my theme and this will create everything I need. What is the last section this is going to do? It is going to upload it in my store and as soon as I refresh my page, I have to see my theme with the new name I have provided for this one. So it will take a few seconds, not much time. It is already, yeah, it is already uploaded. And I will open it in the Visual Studio Code to see how it looks. That is super, super easy. So after this, I will make short videos to save time, but I will make more videos. So if I open the assets, it is missing some folders, right? What are those folders? You can compare it with this one. Okay, the other side will be this one. Okay, you have assets, you have layout templates. It does not have any section and it does not have any snippets. You can add those, but for now it does not have them. So that's totally fine for now. So I can close the old one and I can expand the new one. This is what we have. In the config.yml, this is exactly what we want. This is the theme set, the theme ID, and all you have to do, if we open the config, you have it in the layout, you have only theme.liquid. It does not have the password, it does not have any other uh, template that you want. This is very basic. If you open this one, HTML stuff and nothing much, almost clean. You can completely clean it up and then 
add your own code here so for now I will not do that one because that is just uh, 101 creating team now if I come to my store I will refresh it let's see if it did create the team here for me I'll put the source code of the team I create on github and it should be available for everyone not this one the one I'm creating finally and every day when I add the code I will put push them on github and you can see what changes I have done so for now you can see this is the code in spy 101 and I can click on the publish but I don't publish let's preview it how it looks it should look just fine yes it looks very fine it shows my product it shows the catalog it shows the cart page and this is my catalog just three products no two products okay yeah three products the next page it has even pagination yes it can paginate it can send you to the cart page and the card is empty those are the basic stuff it is showing for you now is your time to add the design to it to add more structure to your team and more feature to your team so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video where we we customize our team and add more feature so this is not the final team and this is not the only team i create i just show you how you can use the new comment in the next video i will show you how you can generate a team with more features so see you in the next video